What do you got going here, Sue? So here we are. We're at Elks Lodge 901 in Petaluma, established 1904. Huh. So we are Elks Lodge members, and we're here in Petaluma. I got to say, this is one of the nicest uh, lodges we've been to so far. So the Elks Lodge is really nice. We joined them in 2019, and they, they're really nice because they give back to the community. They've got programs for kids, for veterans, and a lot of other things. But uh, one of the nice things about this lodge is that they've got a great RV park. Plus, let's go over here. So we actually arrived on a Friday, and we were lucky enough on that Saturday after that they actually had um, a fundraiser. It was an Italian dinner. It was really great. And well, we'll save that for later. We'll show you about that. But they have other things like Taco Friday, um, Wednesday barbecue burgers, a lot of things going on here. But one of the nice things that we are so grateful for is their RV park. Come on back here. So you can see Miles way back there. And uh, I do have to say, when we first got here, we had to do a little bit of thinking of how we we're gonna back in. They're all back ends. But we kind of ran into a little problem because, well, we'll tell you about that. That's a whole nother story. And then it'll go go to the intro. I've got tons of footage of what it looked like when we were here, nobody was here. And I got it just now of the, um, how full it is on Memorial Weekend. Huh. So. And why are we doing this? Why not? <laughs> Maybe I want some pictures of my good looking wife. <laughs> want to see me trip gracefully? <laughs> Well, that wraps up our stay at the Alameda County Fairgrounds in California and we're on our way to Petaluma, California. We're actually going to be staying in an Elks Club Lodge 901 and we'll have a little bit about that later on in the video. What you'll see happens first here, as typical, you get on the road and stuff starts uh, shaking apart or something isn't put together right or you got other problems. And what I got going on here is it looks like the brakes of my Honda are being energized. I notice it by looking in the rear video camera staring at my Honda. All right, doesn't it look like there's a light on right where my mirror is? Uh, because, well, I don't know, but that means my brakes are on. And that's when you start your Honda on fire and it burns your rig down. So um, maybe our air hose fell off or maybe the light isn't on, but we've got to check that. Literally, like, pull over and check it. So you will go back there. You'll take, give me the walkie-talkie, and I will stamp on the brakes. You want to watch for the light to go on and off that's on the back of the mirror. Um, so I don't really know how much time you need to start your Honda on fire with the brakes on, but my first uh, impression was I need to get over to the side of the road as quick as possible. And I normally don't order Sue around like you see in this video, but I was kind of in panic mode and preparing her what to do and see when she goes back there because this isn't exactly a safe situation okay. on the freeway. Yeah. So, okay, so here's what we're doing. Come here. You're just making sure that on the back of the mirror that that's not a reflection. And when I hit the brakes, you're going to see that a light goes on and off and you're going to Okay, check start listening for the panic okay. mode to start setting in. Okay, is the light on? Is the light on the back of the mirror? Okay. Yes, yeah, so your foot was on the brake, the light was on. Your foot came off, the light went off. Okay, all right. That's what you're looking yeah, for, That was right? what I was looking for. And is that a light that's on, or is that a reflection? It's a reflection of the suction cup. Okay, all right, we're good, honey. All right. So, Sue has proven to be an awesome RV 
navigator and partner here so I was totally comfortable with her analysis of that what I was seeing in my video camera was the reflection of the back of the suction cup and not in fact the LED light highlighting when my brakes run but uh, that brings up a point another piece of equipment that you may choose to start carrying and it's a laser thermometer where you literally just shoot this handheld device like a gun at the surface you want to know what the temperature is and you'd be able to figure out exactly what's going on back there ah finally we can relax hey sue get out the essential oils and maybe even light a candle not okay one of the other stressors for driving a motorhome or a large pull behind or fifth wheel is toll booths they're just scary going through, plain and simple. Now many times we can go through the left side if we have the transponders and just blow through here or if they have the cameras. But you never know that from one location to the other. So you both got to be reading the signs to find out where you should be. Now because of COVID, um, most if not all of the tolling stations uh, no longer have people in them and don't necessarily take your money so pretty much any lane you pick is okay uh, but that doesn't make it any easier knowing that so let's take a look here and uh, listen to the stress level um, go through, go through, go through here, go through here, we're not fast track go through where? go through the toll all right, so the pro tip here is remember, when you're the navigator on the passenger side, you're literally five feet away in the same plane of vision that your driver is in. And when you're pointing to something, it doesn't mean anything to him. In fact, many times when you're pointing, if he has to look in your direction, it's because he needs to look in the mirror, and now you got your hand in the way. So no pointing, always verbal commands. <sighs> time to relax again except this time we're smart enough that we're not getting out the essential oils because we all know how that worked this ride here over these bridges and the upcoming causeway we were on about two years ago and I remember it was a lot more nerve-wracking for me uh, now we actually find it kind of exciting and uh, beautiful to go across these. I remember two years ago when we went across it, the causeway area, I viewed it kind of as my training if I would ever be man enough to go to the Florida Keys, but we pretty much have never been able to snag reservations when we need them. So my advice is to sit back and enjoy the nice ride here when you don't have a lot of turns and even your navigator can relax and you know enjoy the trees and the scenery because pretty soon you're going to be back on deck. Alright. So, question is, if we can just go in and pull off the side that we plan your room, then we can go check in. Yeah. Elch. Yeah. So. Is it this first exit? Not, not here. Let's just pull up like we're going to turn in here and take a look. Uh, uh, Wait, what does it say? RB guest. Okay. Where does it say? Arriving at 2105 oh. South McDowell this first Boulevard. One right here. Yeah, right. turn in. Okay. Okay, so as we pulled into this place, we could see that we were going to have an audience, and that's all right. We're used to that. We could see that it was a beautiful lodge, and it was just going to be an ideal stay for us to visit Sue's sister, Bonnie. Uh, here, after we checked in, we drove to the back. You can see that it's relatively empty at this time. We're going to be parking on the other side of that little shed roof there and we're going to back in. What we're going to find out real quick is that when we back in and put our tires against the curb 
If we didn't know what we were doing, and if we didn't check what's going to be happening, we would have rested our def filter down onto the gravel and crushed it. Stay tuned and uh, see what would have happened. Wow. All right, how's that? How are we up front? I'm like sticking in the road 20 feet. Wow. So it's right up to the, uh, right, this is too short. It's right up to the flap. So the flap is going to go up on the, gr on the curbing now. You want that? Well, we're going to hope we don't damage our rig. This is, uh, this is one of the funny things about having free camping or reduced camping. And, and let's face it, this Elks Lodge, you're not going to find any like this that have 18 spots with full hookup one end to the other. But I can tell you that this is a prime example of the landscaper and the architect missing out on one important fact. And that fact was is that his landscaping had to work for an RV. When I go down to level, I go down about, I want to say four inches. I told those guys five inches, but I'm sure it's four inches. I want you to eyeball that, honey. Eyeball but, what? You know, when we go down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but look at this. So we already had a back over the gravel here, and my mud flap flaps, you know, uh, up like this. But you can see that if I was leveling my $2,000 def system here, I would come down and I would end up crunching it. So now what we got to do is we got to take the mud flap and we got to wrap it up. Oh yeah. So in here, I actually have some special ones that are super bomb proof. We've had to do this a couple of times. We've never really gotten good at it. Honey, you didn't remind me I needed Fifi. <laughs> oh my God. I thought you would have Fifi in the... Come on. I thought you'd have Fifi back here too. You've got one in like Well, I would, day. except there's no bottom. It would just fall through. Good point. Good yeah. Point. So, this uh, articulates in the front. So, if I can... And then I gotta remember this door's gotta shut. So I'm wondering if I can just do something here. Like uh well, look the here. Door, door doesn't have to shut. Really. Well, it would be nice. It would be nice, honey, because you know, for YouTube you have to do it good. <laughs> hey, I just noticed that's probably why these strap has these holes oh. here. God, I didn't, never even knew that. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, that does it. Yeah, I never, I never knew that's why these holes are here. It's yeah. Like so now here, this is going to be tougher. So oh, what do you hook it to? Well. Well, if you're just pulling forward, I can always hold it. Well, I want you looking and analyzing. So if I can lasso it here for you. Just, well, that just digs it in. Yeah, you gotta get it on the other side. All right. Hey, I'm the one doing the engineering here, not you. <laughs> okay, so you're saying we go this way. Quit being so smart. Can't help it. Of course, if you were smart, you wouldn't have married me. All right. Okay, so what's that? Yeah. And then if you see this thing skewing, you know the other side's digging in. There's like nothing. This is all aluminum. Yeah. It's not like I can hang it on anything. Alright. It would be nice to get, to move the, uh, the whole mud flap out. We will be sticking way, way out. Alright. Show the hitch how to, how to hitch a plow in there. That hitch still looks pretty close. The 
right tool for the right job. And we bought these specifically for this. We've used them three times in four years. So we were asked to put boards under our jacks, and even though we have snap pads, we thought, well, we'll put boards under that too. So I remember I started at five. I could have swore that was at the bottom of the receiver. So right now, let's just all remember, I'm at seven and a half to the top inside edge of the tube. You can see that I was getting mighty close here. And how's the mud flap look right now, now that it's leveled up? It's, um, it's not touching. Okay. You can get a hold on You want to watch Fifi go away? <laughs> oh, look at the front. Wait, don't turn it off. Oh my look god. We got a little problem there. All right. mm, we are way off the ground. Look at the other side too. Uh oh. Wow. All right, we don't really even have any boards because. We oh, we're using them? Well, we lent it. Lent them to the girls. Oh, they, yeah, they we loaned them to the girls and never got them back. They broke. Board. So we'll put it under this side and we'll come down a little bit. The other side is just barely up. All right, just to get an idea how <laughs> far off we are, Mark has to go in. Let's see if he can make it. No, 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 come on. You don't need a step. Marco. Well, I could get in, but I just wanted to show that we actually use this. This is in our Amazon store. Oh my god. We love it. It's high quality aluminum. I wanted to see you step up wow. without it. Yeah, even even that. We need to turn that switch on. Yeah. Even that is a lot. You are up high. Wow. Okay. He's going down. Alright, he's going down. A little more. Are you trying to turn the tire or are you doing it optically? Optically. Yeah, try to turn the tire. Yeah, it's turning. Okay. It's turning. Let me try. All right, it's not turning. Okay. Let's check the other side. I think the other side's perfect. But... The number is way out here. But we're sticking out further than our number. And it's nice because they did have these cones. We're going to leave them here and hopefully people will see. But. All right, so we are in Petaluma at Elks Lodge 901. And we're actually on our way inside because they have a special dinner. And Mark ended up buying tickets ahead of time. Uh, it's so called it's the Asso Buco Italian Dinner. And that means ham bone with a hole in it. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll so, show it. I don't know what it is. With yeah. wine. So, all right, this is date night at the Elks Lodge. Yeah, in we're, 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 it looks like they're dressed fancier than us over there, honey. I hope they don't Yeah, I had braids in my hair all day. My <laughs> braids are staying. Sorry. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right, we've got this cozy table right here. At the end, where do you want to go, Mark? Well, this is one of the problems of being an RVer, and especially being an RVer at a wonderful, wonderful neighborhood uh, Elks Lodge like this one. Uh, you know, all these people know each other. They got the family here. Hey, let's in invite the aunts and uncles, and we got the uh, Aso Buco meal. But well, we don't know anybody. So 
Here's what our decisions boil our, down to. Our, We're our. either going to sit here mm -hmm. because there's that little crack in the door there providing <laughs> ventilations to be extra COVID safe or because we're vaccinated and it's been, you know, two months since our shot, we're gonna sit in the middle so we can be part of the action and figure out what, and you know, figure out and see what's happening. All right, you guess where Mark wants to go. Of course, he wants to be in the action. It's my Marco. So this really does seem to be an active, uh, Elks Lodge and today actually is Fiesta Friday. They have all kinds of things going on. They've got the Wednesday uh, Burger Day. Um, we were here for a special thing on Saturday with Italian dinner, but a uh, busy, busy schedule. So this is what Memorial Weekend looks like. We've got one empty spot here, but uh, I believe they left this morning it's a pretty busy place. We are pretty full. And there's one other empty one. 50 amp, full hookup. Can't beat that. So this is what we do in Sebastopol, Petaluma, California. Yeah. Well, I and certainly don't have enough money to buy a new car driving a Dutch star. So <laughs> True. Bonnie provided the excitement to buy something brand new and expensive. And it's, prevented me from having a nervous break. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. had to let her buy us dinner. Yeah, that, yeah right. <laughs> so we actually did come out one day, drove a bunch of cars, but we did find one for her. And we don't just drive around in RV and go to national parks. We actually Do help, useful work. help family yeah. find their, what is that? Is that your magic? That is Kona Magic. Kona Magic. Is, is that, Come on, baby, let's go ride. Is that it right there? That's it, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and you could say that she bought a manly car. Oh! oh. <laughs> All right, I'll show you what he means by that. <laughs> this is where the manly men do their shopping. You know, I sure am glad I got my car at Manly. <laughs> Kind of celebrating Bonnie buying her new car. How's your burger, Mark? Really good. I'm taking this half home. Good. After job. I saw myself on the Manly film. <laughs> you uh, needed to well, stop eating. I gotta lose 60 pounds. 60, that's it. <laughs> oh my god.